Yeah, tens, bro. If it's you that, had to pick a that. football player in modern era, right now, today's football, that sums up football social media, who would you pick? I'd pick Garnacho. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Garnacho is the one that More encapsulates Bruno. everything about football social media. That particular person right mm. there. The way he looks, the way he acts, the way he plays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mutated, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now you're right, you know. You're absolutely right. That's what it is. And you know what it is, yeah? It's like, and that's why he's got so many fans. Bro. Because they all see uh, their self in him, bro. Pools. Yeah. Well, maybe, for them, maybe, maybe for them it's not a pools. I don't know. <laughs> Like, even when you see people trying to rub out players like Burkamp and rub out players like Drogba and that because of stats. Bro, stats didn't count when these men were playing. And also, yeah, we weren't counting assists, bro. I don't know how many assists Burkamp got in the season. This guy used to get assists every week. You know what yeah. I mean? I never counted them. Do you know what I mean? And, and this is what it is. And then men will try and disres disrespect these players, disrespect us and talk about our nostalgia and boomer this yeah. and all this. And oh, I'm just grumpy old men. Yeah, that's like, what I mean. It's like you man are actually perfect. Like this is this is just what it is. Like man are actually looking for a reason to rub out good players, yeah, whilst propping up shit players. And this is why, yeah, like I'm um, big up Saeed and that like, when when I was on um on Mandem talk, shout out Rhino as well. Like oh, I see the clip, I see the clip. <laughs> the, the reason why I got so angry, because the funny thing is Lee, bro. Man say that I'm a Ronaldo hater, but bro, I'm always the one defending him, bro. I'm defending his honour, bro, and defending his legacy, bro, when I'm having arguments like this. Do you know what I'm saying? Because when people are trying to make the Garnacho ronaldo comparisons, yeah, it's so disrespectful to Ronaldo that it pisses me off, bro, because what people like Rio Ferdinand and Paul Scholes and Gary ne Neville have done, yeah, they've done Cristiano, yeah, a disservice, yeah, by overplaying, yeah, his hard work and underplaying his ability because now they say they're trying to make it out that our oh, Ronaldo hey, he just works really really hard and he wasn't that good bro Ronaldo had Man United in a spliff in pre-season we played against Sporting Lisbon he was taking the piss out of John O'Shea to the point where John O'Shea wanted to get subbed off bro you know what I'm saying <laughs> That's that's bro, what happened got Arsenal in the bin yeah with prime Henri Vieira and all that lot at, at Highbury Scored bro but that's what I'm saying these men are going on like Ronaldo was just a normal player but then he was running around with ankle weights on that one in the morning and one day, yeah, he just, <laughs> he just turned into a Ballon d'Or winner. When we signed him, we signed him as a world, a world-class prospect, yeah, and a player that had world-class ability, bro. So to compare him to a player that we signed from Atletico Madrid, put in the youth team, yeah, and has come through, yeah, and has played over 50 games, yeah, and ain't really done anything... How can you compare the two yeah, with a straight face, bro? It's mad misleading, bro. The, be the better you know I mean? comparison would have been Janazai. Exactly. The better, exactly. Or even not, yeah. Well, yeah, because Janazai went into the um, youth team as well. Not even Nani, because when we signed Nani, we signed Nani as a world class talent. Him Another and Anderson. One that us apart every time you know he plays. <laughs> we signed these guys as world class talents. These guys had already played Champions League football. These guys are already established in football and we brought them in as world-class talent. So you're right. you got to compare him to a, a Yanazai. Mm. That's what yeah, you got to compare him to. You can't compare him to Ronaldo. Like, but th that's crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he doesn't have the ability to ever be what Ronaldo... He, has, he hasn't got the skill. Ronaldo he hasn't got the skill. He hasn't got the ability. He hasn't got the composure. He hasn't got the, the I don't know, the the attitude. Like, is, yeah. he's, got all the, he's got all the attitude, but in the wrong way. Whereas Ronaldo had attitude, but he had attitude in the right way. Yeah, this guy's got attitude off of the back of doing nothing. Yeah, oh, Ronaldo man. knew he was good. This guy thinks he's better than he is. Yeah, oh. Ronaldo used to be able to dribble past everyone back in the day. Mm. But this yeah, is, the thing is that everyone knows I'm not his biggest fan either. But I'll sit here and say, yeah, man, listen, you can't be comparing. Bro. I thought that was yeah. wild. Yeah, mm. that was wild. The better comparison would have been Yanazai. But the, but the problem is because he's a CR7 fanboy, yeah. Everyone wants to draw the comparisons between them two. He's forced himself, yeah, into a conversation with a great. Mm. Do you understand? And he's done nothing and he will do nothing in the game. He will do nothing in the game. I can sit here right now and say, yeah, that there's absolutely zero chance, yeah, that he gets anywhere near the top of the game because he's not good enough. There's zero chance, bro. If we sold him tomorrow, bro, Real Madrid ain't coming in for him. Barcelona ain't coming in for him. Bro, like, there's a handful of teams in the Premier League that he would start for now. A handful. And I'm not Why even filling up that hand because he don't even place, start bro. for Wolves. He doesn't start Why? for Wolves. 
No, you don't. You don't start for West Ham. You don't start for Luton. Maybe only Sheffield United he starts for, bro. And these men are comparing him to CR7, bro. It's madness. Bro, do you know, do you know what's crazy? When he was at Atleti, yeah? Why didn't, why didn't any of the other clubs want him on loan in, the, in La Liga? No, bro. Crazy. Why didn't any of the other clubs say, yeah, we'll have you on loan, mate? Yeah, because I'll, I'll tell you what. I've said this before about that lad Raquel May at Atleti. Well, he was on loan at Girona last season. It's yeah, why didn't, Girona, why didn't Girona want him? Why didn't, why didn't, why didn't other clubs, Villarreal or any other team, want him? Yeah, let he just left him, left him um, in in the reserves. And then you got him. Yeah, but if he was any good, he would have been playing football when he was 17, 18. First team football. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I know people develop later down their road and like different in their careers. I get all of that. But if he was that undeniable, he would have been playing football. But in this first is the team point. At that this age. is the point, bro. Do you know what I mean? And and the thing is, we'll do all that. Yeah, we'll do all that. While we've got players like Ahmad, who's gone out on loan, yeah, proven himself in the championship. Can't get a game. Yep. Can't get a game. And this is this is my biggest problem here yeah, with football fans today, bro. This this is this is my problem with football fans today. This is my problem with um this is also my problem with how these men are talking about players. Like, even for instance, yeah, even like you look at Ahmad, for instance. Ahmad is a baller, yeah. And the funny thing about Ahmad, yeah. The funny thing about Ahmad. Is that I mean not Ahmad, sorry, about Kobe Mino is that um bro, he's never gonna be a player that gets stats. So yeah. how come these these gimps here yeah, can see that he's a, <laughs> they can see that he's a good footballer, yeah, but then in the same breath, try and rate someone like Garnacho, yeah, who consistently doesn't do the basics well. He's the exact opposite kind of player to Kobe Mino. How can you rate both of them? Because you're not because you're not using the same barometer to rate both of them. Because if you rated them with the same barometer, you'd see one's good and one's not good. Yeah, the logic's you know flawed because the logic works for one but not for the other. Well, there you go. But the thing so is, if, if, you, if you have a certain criteria of what you what you rate in a footballer and what the basics should be for a footballer for you it to rate across him, the board, it works for both players, right? Well, if that's the case, the then you can't rate him then. Yeah, yeah, because he ain't got a decent first touch. He ain't got yep. no footballing brain. At all, yep. yeah. He ain't electrically quick in, on pace. Yeah, mm. he's got no defensive brain to get back. Yeah, he never gets his head up. Yeah, he's a. It's all about him. He don't play for the team. Mm. Yeah, whereas on the flip side of that, Mino's got. A, he's got a better first touch than than Garnacho. Great actually. first touch. Can play yeah, on the half turn. Passing. Pass. Do you know what I mean? Movement, intelligence, all the things that makes a good footballer. He's got it. And but then all you get, all you get, you get though, is your your beef in a nineteen year old. Oh, but what this is it. They're from the same academy. <laughs> they had the same coaches. So when man say with a better coach, one of them's going to get better. But it's like, bro, they both had the same coaches. But one thing you can't coach is talent. And this mm. is exactly what it is, bro. And that's why I can't stand these mutants, bro. I can't stand them because it's like, the one thing with me is, yeah, the same, the same lens I look at one player, I look at all of them with it. So the way I analyze if a player can play or not, yeah, is consistent across the board. It's consistent across the board. And that's why a lot of the players that these men rate, I don't rate. That's why. Because I'm rating them with the consistent, with the consistent eye, the consistent, um, there's a certain barometer. At all times. Mm. At all times. Cool. What's the first touch saying? Can man play on the half turn? Are they intelligent? Do you know what I mean? Do they bring their teammates into play? Like, and also, can they, can they speed the game up and slow the game down? But that's yeah, it. Can... And aesthetics do matter, bro. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what no one says because there's no, I, I don't know any athlete, yeah, at the top of any sport that does something, yeah, and it doesn't look good and it and it looks uncomfortable. I don't know one. I don't know one tennis player that looks like is scatty, bro. When you watch Rafael Nadal play, yeah, when, yeah, you watch, so I when, you, when you watch Roger Federer play, every single stroke, yeah, is perfect, bro. Bro, look, look at you can even play that into track and field. Yeah, look at look at when Usain Bolt was was racing back in the day. Yeah, Just glides, bro. Gliding, yeah. bro. And you know what? The best players in the world at every single sport make the game look effortless. When you got these idiots running, tripping over the ball, and the ball's going out for goal kicks and stuff like that, you can't tell me <laughs> you can't tell me that this is the best that the game has to offer. Because if this is the best the game has to offer, then bro, I'm sorry, hand me a rope. This is what it is. Hand me a rope, bruv. I'll end it all, bruv. Because this ain't the best. <laughs> this ain't the best that the game's got to offer, bro. And this the is the thing just... is when, when you watch, when you watch, like as you said on that show about Brian Diaz, bro. Yeah, 
Oh. And you said that Garnacho would never score a goal like that. Never. Yeah. He won't ever score a goal like that. He was on the right, uh, the right wing with his back to goal, pinned against the defender, spun him, jinked past another one, dropped no, the shoulder, and it in. <laughs> like, bro, that goal was a joke. Honestly, that, the game was dead, but that goal was the best part of the game. That was absolutely mm. class. But this is the thing. And that the chat I probably remember. He did one on the half turn on the centre circle a couple of weeks back. Mm. I think it might have been against Villarreal. I may be wrong. He did one on the half turn, right? Back to goal again, spun the geezer, got into the box, quick feet, bang, chipped the keeper. Yeah, unbelievable goal. Yeah, and that guy, yeah, so people are saying, oh, but what did you do at AC Milan? Enough to get back in Madrid's team, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's not the finished article, but I'll tell you what, he's got more talent than most of these wingers out there. Mm. I'm saying, and, th and this is the thing, yeah, people won't give it. It was Villarreal, see? There we go. Right, but either way. Yeah, that Brian Diaz, yeah, cool. He didn't have a great time at AC Milan. Yeah, but hey, Ancelotti's not dumb. Ancelotti can spot a dumb. Yeah, but also he sees these guys in training every week. And this is the point. And this is the point, yeah. These men talk about, oh, I test merchant and this, that, and the other. Bro, listen, you used to be able to look at players, yeah, and tell who the ballers are. And you can still do that. I don't care about your stats. You can shove them, bro, because football's not played on a piece of paper. And that's mm, what it is, bro. And, and and this and exactly or a calculator. And this is where the game's gone, bro. This is exactly where the game's gone. Man are now saying, Oh, yeah, like cool, he's not a good player, but he's effective. What the hell does effective mean, bro? <laughs> you know, like what does that even mean? And mm. and this is what I mean. Man, start using these words, yeah. They just try and gloss over the fact that these men don't know what they're talking about, Lee, no more, bro. Like, man can't say that you're effective, yeah, because you contribute on the stat sheet, yeah, once every seven, eight games. That's not effective, bro. Like, the game is 90-odd minutes long. So, mm. if you've played, yeah, if you played, like, 800 minutes, yeah, and you contribute to with two goals and an assist in 800 minutes, you can't tell me that you're effective. That's not effective. You're effectively useless, bruv. <laughs> Especially if you're a forward player that's in a decent team and creating a lot of chances and getting chances. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, but this is where we're at, bro. Yeah, they, they, these people, they're, they're literally like the fat birds that sit on these uh, panel shows Telling the world that they're a ten out of ten, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Yeah, I'm a ten. I'm a ten. Yeah, get out That's of it. You're not a ten. You're ten stone overweight. That's it. <laughs> That's it, bro. Them man that are trying to convince me that that guy's a baller. That is it. It's them fat things trying to. Hey, I said this on my show yesterday, right? Yeah, tens, bro. If it's you that. had to pick it's a football that. player in modern era right now, today's football that sums up football social media, who would you pick? I'd pick Garnacho. Yeah, yeah. Garnacho is the one that More encapsulates Bruno. everything about football social media. That particular person right mm. there. The way he looks, the way he acts, the way he plays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mutated, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now you're right, you know. You're absolutely right. That's what it is. And you know what it is, yeah? It's like... And that's why he's got so many fans. Bro. Because they all see uh, their self in him, bruv. Pools. Yeah. Well, maybe, for them, maybe, maybe for them it's not a pools. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, you're spot on, you know. Bruv, they might actually see themselves in him, bro. There's some zesty guys, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> no, you're right. They're all going into the barber saying, can you give me the Garnacho? You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> hey, bro, listen. Hey. Nah, you're right, you know. You're, you're actually right when you deep it because it's like these men, yeah, like they, they're seeing him as the player that they want him to be instead of the player that he is. You know, like that. And you know, you know, when you know, when men have to tell these girls just, just for the body you have, not the body you want, blood. You see, when you see the fat things that are wearing <laughs> stuff that they shouldn't even make in their size. Do you know what I mean? Oh, bro, when and they got the belly hanging out and they're wearing the bro, belly. Bro, they like, shouldn't bro, even make that in your size. Bro, listen, bro, if you, you can't wear animal print, yeah, over a certain size, because then you just look like <laughs> the animal, bro. You know, like that. You can't be wearing leopard print. <laughs> leggings in, in, on that. <laughs> leopard print leggings in a size 18, bro. You're bigger oh, than a leopard. Mate. You know, like that. You can't wear that. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and this is what it is, bro. So these men there, yeah, are like, they're talking about the baller that they want him to be. That's why every time you cook him, oh, he's only young, but give him time. No, you're we're beefing the kid. You be for the kid. He's playing for Man United. He's right now, bruv. We're not talking about who you think he's going to be in three years, bruv. And this is the problem with these guys. These modern day football fans, they're lost. They are yeah. lost, bro. And that's what it is. And they need, they need to be brought down to earth, bro. They need education, bro, because 
the propaganda's nasty. Like anyone that could compare Bukayo Saka to Cristiano Ronaldo, like you don't even do that, yeah. There's no way you can contextualize it for it to be acceptable. No. And the thing, the thing is, I, I put the screenshot out and I was like, yeah, anyone who still pays this company is part of the problem mm. because they are part of the problem. Because mm. the fact that they've gone through the archives, gone through all of the goals and all of the assists of both of them players in their first 210 games and they had the audacity to post that out to millions of people over their TV channel and over all their socials. Mm. They know that it's going to be, oh, look at this, we can gaslight everyone, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and all the people that are not Arsenal fans are be laughing and taking the mick. That's traction. Yeah, interactions that are getting more sponsorship deals off of the back of the highest high um analytics. Yeah. And then all the Arsenal fans are lap that up and that'll be, yeah, but look, what was Ronaldo doing at that age? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you post the trophies out, mate? Yeah, because there's no way in a million years that even if he has got one goal more and six assists, who cares? There's no way in a million years because Saka, yeah, is better than Ronaldo. But there's no way that he's... And I don't even rate Ronaldo he's, like he's the greatest thing in the bro, world. He shouldn't even be in the same table. conversation as Ronaldo, bro. Like, like Mama was saying earlier, yeah? Do you know what a lot of these footballers had to go through, yeah? And what they had to do to become who they were just for you to compare an absolute nobody to them, bro? It's disrespectful. You know, like that, bro. Like, do you know the amount of years that Ronaldo had to train the years at which... Bro, like even Ronaldo, even before he moved to Man United, do you understand how how sought after he was, bro? Do you know what I mean? How could you mention, yeah, like a generational talent in the same breath as an academy manufactured player like Bakayo Saka? Because that's what he is, bro. He ain't, he ain't even got a tenth of the natural ability that Cristiano had. It's it's mad disrespectful. And that's what I mean. I don't like that. I don't like the Shawberto Carlos rubbish. I don't like all these other things. I don't like the Bellin. Oh, we, oh, we got Tommy Cafu, mate. We got Tommy oh, Cafu. Bro. <laughs> I, 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 I don't like the Zidane Bellingham things. I don't like any of those, bro, because we're all talking about players here yeah, that are going to go down as some of the greatest to ever play the game of football, yeah? And these men will never, ever be in that conversation. No matter how many goals they score, no matter how much longevity they get, yeah? Because football is not about numbers. Football is about magic. And that's why Thomas Muller said, yeah, he saw like a comparison between him and Zidane and he had more goals and assists in less games. And he said, listen, I'm not in Zidane's league, man. He said, forget these numbers, yeah? Football is about magic. And you can see with your eyes, yeah, that I can't even compete with someone like Zidane. 